So recently, about six days ago, there was a brand new VPK released for the PS Vita, and what this VPK does is install 20 PSP emulators onto the Adrenaline emulator. So this is perfect if you have Adrenaline and you don't have any emulators for it. So these emulators are like Neo Geo, um, Game Boy Advance, SNES, loads of different emulators. There's 20 of them. I think it has Atari on there as well. So yeah, we're going to check out in this video, see if it's any good. You can also use these emulators on your PSP obviously they're for Adrenaline Adrenaline is a PSP emulator um, so make sure you have this installed if you do not have Adrenaline I have a video tutorial on how to do it on my channel but anyway once you've got it all you want to do is just go ahead and start up VTShell we will need to connect our PS Vita or PS TV to our computer so press select go and connect it right now and I will show you guys what to do from there so I will leave a link to the PSP emulators installer in the description of this video. Now I guess you can use this with your PSP or PS Vita. It is actually designed for adrenaline because this is a VPK file and what it does is it auto installs 20 emulators on adrenaline in three minutes. And let's take a look at all of the emulators that it installs. So we've got Capcom, Nintendo 64. It gives you the name of all of them. We've got Neo Geo, Atari, really good emulators. Sometimes these ones are quite hard to find so it's cool it's going to install these all at once maybe I'll make a video on this on the PSP as well but anyway all you guys want to do is go to the releases page I'll leave this linked in the description scroll down and just click on assets we need to get version 1.10 this was released six days ago so you want to do just click on the PSP emulators installer.vpk just give that a few seconds to download pretty small file around 60 megabytes and once that is finished downloading, all you want to do is go to your computer's downloads folder and find the VPK in there. So let's just go and find it right now. Here it is. And we're simply just going to select this and just drag and drop it to the root of our PS Vita or PS TV. And there you go. That is it for your PC. You literally just copy across the VPK file. So let's go back onto my PS Vita. Let's install this and let's try and get the emulators added to Adrenaline. Okay, so once we're back, let's install the VPK file. So let's go onto our UXO. Let's scroll all the way down on here and just find it. So it's this one right here, PSP Emulators Installer. Let's press X twice and let's just go ahead and install this VPK. Okay, so our VPK is done. Let's close out of each shell and let's go and have a look for it. So here it is. This is what the icon looks like. It's actually a Pac-Man ghost. But let's go and start this up. Haven't used this before. Let's see how it works. PSP emulator installer. Let's just go and start this up. Now this is something that's very interesting. Okay, so what have we got on here? Press cross to install emulators on Adrenaline on your UXO. Um, press triangle to install them for Adrenaline on your URO. Um, I mean circle and then press triangle to install them for it on the UMAO okay so basically all you have to do is remember where adrenaline is installed we can actually find this out if we close out of this and we go back up to a Vita shell we need to find out where your adrenaline is installed I would say yours is probably on the UXO like mine all you have to do is find the PSP emu folder so um, let me show you the folder you're looking for. It's this one right here, PSP MU. Find where this is located. As you can see, mine is on my UXO. It shouldn't be on my Euro, and it's definitely not on my UMAO, or it shouldn't be anyway. Actually, there is one. Um, I think this is just empty though. Yeah, it's pretty much empty. Okay, so mine is on my UXO, so we're just going to keep that in mind. Remember that. Let's just go and start it back up. Okay, so let's see which one was UXO. We need to press cross. So we have to press cross for the UXO. Um, please wait three minutes. Press OK to continue. Press OK. And now what we have to do is wait three minutes. So I'm going to be back in three minutes. Actually, let me just check. What is the time right now? Okay, so the time right now is 2.58 a.m. So I'm going to be back about 1 past 3 a.m. Yeah, I'll be fine. Okay, so I'm going to be back right then. And we can see if they installed. Okay, and it's done, and it, it took exactly three minutes. It's exactly one minute past 3 a.m. So we're going to press OK. It says, the emulators have been installed on the partition UX0. Let's press X for OK. And I think it's just going to, there you go. It's going to restart, and it's going to bring us to Adrenaline. So let's go and start this up. Click on OK. Mine might open and then close straight away. I don't know. 
Oh cool, it's actually working. Okay, so let's go and take a look at all of these emulators that it's recently added. I might have even had previous emulators on here, I can't even remember. Let's just have a look anyway. Okay, so we've got SNES, they've got nice themes as well. Sega Master System, Vice, Race. I don't know what this is. Never seen that before. I don't know what that is either. Okay, so there's loads of different emulators on here. Let me just scroll through all of them. PC Engine, I know that one. P PSP Cat32, don't know what that is. Atari, Atari, Pico Drive, and um, that's like a Mega Drive emulator. Neo Geo, Master Boy, that's a really good one. Um, e Emulator, I'm not sure what that is. Um, Fuse, Simple Flames, don't know that one. Capcom Play System, don't know that one. Neo Geo, I think that's mine from before, and the rest look like they're mine. So you go 20 emulators. Um, which is really cool and yeah very very easy to install obviously we can try one should we just try what this is I have no idea what this is you know you can just press X on them and boot them up just like that and obviously these will work on the PSP as well maybe I'll make a video if you don't have a PS Vita I'll just combine them in a pack or something and there you go there is the um, Vex Trek emulator I don't know what this is um, they don't come with ROMs so if I just show you if I just go to um, load slot or maybe like lo load ROM. There you go. Say there you go. It does. Oh, this one looks like it has one ROM. What is this? I don't even know what this is. There you go. You guys get the idea. The emulators work. Um, you can quit out of them and stuff like that. And there you go. And that is how you install 20 classic emulators in three minutes. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.